From the last three years, I have been doing many electronics projects. Today's project is the one which was desired from a long time. Today, I am making my own laptop. So let's begin. First, I have roughly jotted down the design on a piece of paper with a pencil. I am doing the base using wood instead of a cardboard to make a better finish. When I started cutting down the ply using hacksaw, I realized that it is a tedious process and I cannot complete it on a single day. So I went to the market and bought a jigsaw. With this, the wood became a slice of butter. This reduced the hole making time a lot lesser. In order to place the CPU ports properly, I have drilled few holes on the ply using a drill machine and then finished the cutting using a utility knife. Then I smoothened the boot surface with a sandpaper. After the cutting process, the ply really became ugly. So to make it look good, I have polished it with spirit and wax. In order to make a laptop, we definitely need a display. This is a 7 inch HD IPS display which has great viewing angle and color saturation. To assemble all the parts, I have used Fevicol synthetic resin adhesive. Then I frame the display with those pre-made pieces. Now come to the backbone of the device, the heart of the system, the Raspberry Pi 3. It has quad-core ARM Cortex 1.2 GHz processor, 1 GB RAM and a Broadcom GPU. It also has 4 USB ports, 1 Ethernet port, 1 HDMI port and 3.5 mm video and audio output port. It also have inbuilt Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in it. Now I am inserting the SD card in which I have installed the OS previously. Now I am testing the system. And as you can see it's working properly. As we are making a laptop, we need an internal power supply. So we are going to use a power bank module which charges the lithium batteries and give a constant 5 volt output. I have removed the USB port from the module because it had no use and reconnected all the necessary wires. Then I have added a power switch with the module. As I don't want to use the power port because in case of a high power operation we need a power supply which gives a high voltage power input. When this port will be necessary, that's why I am directly connecting the power supplies. Now I will assemble all the required parts one by one. This is a wireless rechargeable keyboard with a touchpad. So we need to charge it quite often. In order to eliminate that, I am directly connecting the keyboard with the power module. Now I will arrange the remaining parts one by one. This is the final look of the laptop. How do you find it? Let me know in the comment section below. With this, you can watch your favorite YouTube channel. <laughs> I know it's DD Electrotech.
With this, you can browse internet, watch movies and listen to songs and also play games in a 7 inch HD display. It can do almost everything that a normal laptop can do. If you guys face any sort of a problem, let me know in the comment section below. And special thanks to GearBest for providing with all the necessary equipments and accessories. The details of the used equipments are given in the description box below, followed by their Best Buy link. And a quick announcement. There will be a Q&A session coming soon. So give all your questions in the comment section below preceded with a hashtag Q&A. So interested people, please leave your questions. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, you may also like my other videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So see you in my next video. Until then, bye bye.